bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? What's with this video and its portrayal of gingers? I have seen nobody on YouTube really point this out, but they really see gingers in a bad light in this video. From the ginger kid in the beginning where it seems like he was about to do suicide or at least commit it to the ginger kid who was sitting on the couch who had the biggest frown to the ginger kid getting beat up by the other one who seems to be blonde to the married with children lady who was a ginger in the show but they did not cast a ginger and I know that they're parroting married with children I know the aesthetic and look I bet this is a nod and I might be um, like reaching out or just stretching it out a little bit, but I bet this is a nod to how Gillette is thinking about breaking down the heteronormative patriarchy SJW style burned, owned, and just pounded. I mean, hey, it could be that they're going full SJW cisgender white scum here. I mean, just look at the picture. You see a guy who's conventionally handsome being kissed by a girl who seems to be pretty nice. So maybe it could be that. I don't know. They might be going full SJW. Is it? Even the fat, unresponsive mother seems to be a ginger, and the young man is holding, or should I say, wearing a red shirt. This must be more than coincidence, and I'd just like to say, if she's actually protecting her child as decently and as safely as she does the other one literally running in her household, then she's just a god-awful mother. Can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over. It's been going on far too long. So let me get this straight. Gillette's story of sexual harassment is I wore a skimpy outfit today at work and literally sat while men looked at me and goggled and freaking whistled. I married my husband. Now he wants me to do my wifely duties. And I came to a party half naked and dancing and gyrating. And then somebody had to say something. They're doing a bad representation of women getting sexually harassed, by the way. We can't laugh it off. Laughing it off would be the first laugh that sitcoms have brought to TV in years. And what the hell is this man doing? Is he pretending that he's a T-Rex? Did he already grab his wife's ass and then he's pretending to grab it again? Like invisible in the air and shit like that? What's up? Like what is this? Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say making the same old experience. you heard it from Gillette co-work and actually teamwork and helping out your fellow man or shall I say female is equal to sexism and harassment beta style baby and this guy is old you can tell he's older than her I would say that he's wise beyond his years but he has barely any years left look how old this guy is excuses Wow, this is the worst domination blondes had against gingers since the Irish potato famine. Like, damn. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Wow, I don't know who is at the, um, I don't know, like the, uh, the commercial department or the advertising for Gillette. But they should have like exchanged the like ginger kid for a young girl, like a girl getting her hair pulled or a girl getting like uh, boogers put on her and then have the guy say boys will be boys because that would like maybe push the message more clearly instead of what they had here. Like they're just wrestling like that doesn't seem that like dire or important and, and stuff like that seems quite stupid. Allegations 
regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. I'm wondering, is any of these companies, are these channels paid to actually be advertised in this little video? And if they did, do they regret it? Because this little video is going to become one of the most disliked or heading to becoming one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. So if they are they like hitting the um, palm of their hand to their head right now? And there will be no going back. Because we, we believe in the best in men. men. I'm wondering to myself, what happened to the ginger fellow that started in the beginning of the video? Like he couldn't like come back as happy. I mean, they got everybody else back. Why didn't they bring him back? It's just perplexing. Need to hold other men accountable. Look, don't quote me on this, but Terry Crews and his ass want tearing bruise, like to, to me. I mean, his most notable roles were in White Girl and also Friday After Next. And in White Girl, he fell in love with a man dressed as a white chick. And also in Friday After Next, he played an inmate that just got out of jail and threatened to rape people. So don't take, don't take me out of context. But yeah, that's how I feel about him, to tell you the truth. But hey, that's just me. Smile, sweetie. Come on. Say it with me now, cock blocking, that's all it is, cock blocking, and also some lame game. To say the right thing, to act the right oh, way. Bro, not cool. It seems that all the young black males in this video are, seems to be white knights and stopping their counterparts um, from pretty much doing anything that's next to a female, I guess that has like maybe going through a bad day and need cheering up. I mean, damn, maybe that white chick from the office should have brought these two men in with them. I mean, they, she would definitely be protected. Not cool. Some already are. In ways, these kids remind me of jerking off the corpse of a steed because they're beating a, a dead horse here. God damn. I mean, they chased him from the movie theater into somebody's house into the middle of a busy, like, uh, sidewalk. Damn, they really want to kick this kid's ass. I don't know why or they never give a reason. I guess he's the weakest, but it's like 20 to 1. Come on, man. Big. Yo, men. And small. I am strong. I am strong. They really want to promote this black male unity thing, which is pretty nice. I wish they give to like a black charity or a black male charity. I wish they took the ad revenue from this video and did it, but they're probably not. But as you can see here, you have the young man who's dressed up in school gear who's shaking the young man who seems to be street conscious or whatever, which is a pretty nice scene. I wish they had more scenes like this in the video. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. My dude, you didn't at least hold one of the kids to like call the police or get their parents number so you can talk to them to stop him from getting bullied because all he's going to do is get bullied uh, tomorrow or at least tell them or at least ask them why they're magic and they can break into houses, film studios in the middle of the street and stuff like that and have people like not stop them already. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. So that was the video, and I don't think it had the intended effect that Gillette wanted to be. It aimed too broadly, and it landed too wildly, if you ask me. Um, it was full of just a lot of meaningless um, moments, and it wasn't really clear in its intention at all. But hey, Gillette sells razors, so can you blame them for not being against or being against neck beards? That's their logic. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share this video. And guys, I am out.